I think you just kill this. Okay, just get out maybe. Wait, what? What is that Prowler's Club <laughs> combo? Do you know by thing? Yeah. The Chinese? You're like him, but on like a more brain dead champ. All right, what's up, YouTube? So today we're gonna to be doing a different style of video. So as you guys know, in the past, I have worked with this site called Tappin.gg, which would offer like duos and stuff like that. And we did like troll duos, right? Well, Tappin recently started offering coaching. So today we're gonna to take a little spin on it. And instead of having a duo that we end up trolling, we're actually gonna have a coach who we're gonna pretend like it's not me. And we're going to see if he can teach me more with Hecarim than I already know. So throughout the coaching, I'll be sitting there. I'll be like questioning some of the things he's saying. And we'll see, we'll see if he actually knows what he's talking about. So we already have like the account ready and everything. We're going to be playing on the, uh, on the YouGav account, which is one that I transferred a few weeks ago. Uh, so that the IGN doesn't show me. Uh, like doesn't have Dantes or Donal in my names to keep it hidden. And yeah, so we'll get right into it. So I already have the co-pilot selected. Uh, we already have jungle selected. And now all we have to do is find match. Five minutes later. All right, so we got match with someone who actually has a hacker profile. So you know what? I was debating whether I wanted to do like Hecarim or Belveth, like depending on what the coach was, but I think this game will actually do Hecarim. Because, yeah, if he thinks he knows Hecarim, we'll see. We'll put it to the test. Uh, so I'll say, hey, what's your Discord? I'll add you. And then when he gives it to me, I'll just add him. So for this video, I actually made like a Smurf Discord account as well that doesn't have the name Doanel or Dantes. So now when we get in call, just like to preserve anonymity. I mean, there's a chance that he might know it's me since he does play Hecarim, but maybe he doesn't. So we'll see. Yo. Okay, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah you're good. You're good. Are you in select? Uh, not yet. You want me to queue now? Yeah, yeah, just give and share screen. Okay. Just one second. Uh, let me check the OP the GG of the account. I only played like two games on this account because the thing is I don't have much time to play nowadays. Uh, since like I'm in school, but yeah. but I played like two games because like in the past I was like decent elo. Um, yeah. like normally around high diamond, low masters. But yeah, what season? Like last season. Because this season I wasn't able to play as much because I was doing like yeah. internships with my college. So wait, what champions do you play? I only one trick Hecarim and not anything else. Really? So, yeah. I'm challenger on new West team. Right now. Wait, what's your IGN? Uh TTV Suki545. Alright, let me see. I'll type it in chat. He's like kinda OP right now if you're really good at him, like really, really good. Oh shit, like, okay. Best, the last game I was versus Pierce. Oh really? Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah, I I've heard of him. I watch his like YouTube videos sometimes. Mhm. Mm so wait, are you the best hackerman in Europe then? In Europe, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the jump select. Okay. So you can also check my build path meanwhile. You want me to copy your runes? Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Check the, the build as well. I was hearing that uh, like, apparently for Hacker right now, there's this like better rune setup where you can go inspiration secondary. Have you heard of that? Yeah, but it's kind of better in like high reloads because not as many kills happen early game, so you can't snowball as much. So you can like make more use of the future's match. Oh, okay. So that's why I prefer domination. Even though I play like in high elo, I still like stomping people. I don't care if I go zero and ten. I'll just lose anyway. Okay, because I. I heard that apparently the main reason why they do inspiration second is so that they have like their smites up earlier in case they get invaded. Yes, but if you get invaded and you die, you just say team gap and you go lose the game. Because <laughs> no one else should care. <laughs> Alright, that works. If the enemy pike pushes into waves and shows up at your blue buff, you might as well open. So yeah. Alright, what skin should I use? What's the best hackram skin? 
I think a Reaper, this is like high key Reaper is the best skin. Because his blade is so big, like his Q animation is so smooth. Really? Yeah. Because I, no I one... like for me, I always said that Headless and like Elderwood were the best. Elder, I don't know. Headless, I hate him because he looks so big. He's like Gragas, but you're Hector him, so I don't know. Okay. His kit box looks way, way too big. They locked in Rakan Zai, is that good for me? No, that is awful. Because you can't do anything, you can't engage, you can't do anything. You just <laughs> open the game, I think. Okay, so they went Rakan Zaya, and then they have Ivern Cho'Gath. Yes. Uh, I don't know what year you're, you're in, but I think you're playing like the L LCK finals or something. Oh, they won Salas too. Yeah, I think you're playing in the LCK finals. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's fine though, your mid is season 3 faker. He will do the insane play. Oh yeah? The Faker versus Ryu Z combo? Yeah. That one. Okay. And your bot lane has double exhaust, which is like also really nice. You should not tell them anything, I think. Oh, yeah, I think I think going double exhaust versus like no assassin is like pretty OP. Yeah, me too. Kaiki. Oh well. Oh, your team God. saw the LCK draft and they just had to <laughs> go next. I mean, dude, isn't it crazy how like... People will actually draft comps like that. Like, I miss playing in Gold and Platinum, where every game yeah. they just lock in, like, the worst champs imaginable. Okay, but the nice Smurf in, like, Silver, for some reason, they go, like, Lulu Kogmo, but the Kogmo is scripting, so I can't play the game. I press ult, and he just insta-flashes. He's, like, I don't I, uh, know, it's chat GPT playing. Yeah, and the Kogmo with a cleanse, and the Lulu has exhaust as well. Yes. Imagine if it was like season 11 here, when you go Divine and Sterax and you just die as soon as you ult in. <laughs> and you don't catch up to him with Phase Rush. Yeah. That's why, what do you think? Okay, so what do you think about all the Hecarims that still go Divine Sunder? Uh, I know there's like one Korean guy that calls it, which is like, uh, it's a whole different region, so it's like a whole different play style, so I don't know. Like, I think it's better if you just fist fight and if the enemy doesn't kite you. But, I don't know. I don't know how he pulls it off, but I guess it's just a region difference. Because they have a different playstyle. Really? You buy Divine and you just go fist fight, I guess. That's how they do it. But you don't think but one they... item spiking on a cleaver is always better? Or like Shoujin? Uh, not really. I prefer going like straight to Dirk, and then finishing Mana Mune, and then Eclipse. Because I just, cause I just go like maximum damage. Okay. I don't play that pussy as shit. Do you, uh, do you do Duskblade as well, or is it just Eclipse every game? Duskblade is like really, really situational. I would only go it when they have like all auto-attackers, so they can't like click on you while you're invisible, plus if they don't have like uh, damage over time. So like okay. Lyandris or shit like that. Yep. And AoE damage. But that's like really rare. They need to draft like Master Ye, Tristana, and I don't know, like Varus mid or something. Or Tristana mid Varus bot. Something like that. Okay, surely this champ select is the one. Who do I ban, by the way? I don't know. I personally ban Graves because, at least in high low, when you play versus a good Graves, the game is unplayable. But, but isn't. I feel like Kindred's a million times worse than Graves, so no? I don't know. Personally, every Kindred in high low is bad, so I might as well just ban Graves. Because I feel like every good Graves can just shit on me after he invades me. Should I still go Conquer if the enemy team goes Fiddlesex Alistar? Or should I face rush, I mean? Uh, I don't know, I think Tenacity is like giga nerfed, so it's not worth it. Oh yeah? Even though like Fiddle is like the most OP champ right now, I think. I don't know what is going on in Riot's brain. I don't know how it's fine for one champion to do 1000 damage in an AoE, but I guess it's fine. Plus, he can CC you for like 3 seconds. But oh I guess you can go Q Assassin to him. Also, I don't know. Bro, every game is dodged. What are the chances Hakram is banned the Sobby? I don't know, I like when I do some smurfing, let's say, and he's banned like non-stop, I just swap between accounts. I like can't wait. My brain has to like... Wait, do you smurf HD often? Program. Uh, I don't know, yeah, kinda. Okay, but when you smurf, do you smurf to smurf or do you uh, smurf for money? Mm, that is classified information, I think. <laughs> okay. I can't say or Riot will find my address. Okay, Plus he's a family here, so yeah. I can't risk it. Okay, we just seen Prey. That Hecarim is not banned. Mm. It's almost like you predicted it. GG. Five minutes later. So, do you ever watch that Korean Hecarim guy's games or no? 
I actually don't, but I feel like he's like a really good jungler, but he's like kind of bad on hackering because he doesn't play like the assassin build. He like knows when to make which plays, but he's like not that sufficient on hackering. But I'm checking his up with the GG right now. I think he has games on other champs, but I'm not sure. Let me check. But I swear like last season when he was rank 4, or like in season 11, he used to play like other champs and he had like good win rate. He's pretty old, but it's a whole different region, so we can't touch. Eh, to be honest, it looks like he's just in winner's queue. I don't think he looks yeah. that great. Yeah, look at his KD, it's not even that good. Like, look, he has like 5 game winner's queue, and then he dies 10 times per game or something. Yep. Every diamond player can get challenger, they only need a good team, you know? Yep. You know when you're in school and your bronze friend tells you like, Oh my god, man, I have a shit team every time. Yes. When you check his OP.GG, he goes 0 and 7, but it's like if he had like four LCK players in his team, he would win every game. Yep. Okay. Okay, so it's even look at the play versus. Like, it's actually pretty good for you because they're all squishy, they don't have much CC, and they're kind of heavy on the AP side. Because it's probably support dash. So you basically don't counter. It's okay. really good for you. It might even be a Dusk play, Daniel. But it's up to you. Okay, we'll see. Okay. Let's press tab just to remember, like, okay, you should now have a game plan, like, what do you want to play around? Uh, what do you think? I don't know, you tell me, you're the coach. Okay, but I need, like, your opinion and in order to, like, you know, because if I tell you, I can't see your mistakes. And that's, like, a big issue. Okay. Because well, I can't play the game for you, like, each time. You okay, so my game plan this game is I say... If I can get a lot of kills, then I get really fed, and then I can probably kill the enemy team. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, that's like pretty much every hacker in game. But this game, can you press tab again? Yep. Um, I don't know. I think top lane, Azir can like just AFK farm. Irelia can solo kill him if she's good, and she should if she's good, but if she's not, then whatever. So just play for bot lane. Okay. I think I would do like three camps by tier. Like, stack it up, and, you know... Wait, what do you mean by do three camps? Uh, Raptors into red, into Crux. Oh, really? You don't full clear? Uh, not really. Why? You can only, like, full clear into Kartus, I think it's good. Because Kartus clears insanely fast, that he can just invade you on your blue buff. But are there no, like, his... Hecarims that full clear every game? There are, but... I don't know. I personally don't like it. I okay. always do this buff. But I think Avalon's... Wait, she's level 2 ganking bot. That is like the worst path she could probably take. You're now like insanely ahead of her. Because she wasted so much tempo. You can maybe even look to invade her like blue side. But it's kind of risky. So it's what up you... to you though. Okay, no, it's up to you. You're the coach. What do I do? Okay, I think I would just recall. Because right. I won't like erase the game for you. I think we should just play like you would play like every other game. Do I, I go... um? Do I go... Right here. Yeah, but do yeah, I go E or Q, third? I would hold it. Like, get to walls, and then see, like, if there's a gank mid, you can take E. And if there is not, then... Wait, which camp do I take now? Push. Do I go wolves or do I go blue? I think wolves, because you can, like, clear the camps from, like, you know, from top to bot. Like, okay. you know, in, like, a line. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, yeah. You should like kite the camps more, you're doing like no APM, and you should always be looking at your minimap. Alright. I would personally go for blue, but I think Gromp is okay as well. Wait, okay, why, do you do, why do you do blue first? Uh, because I feel like you can get like a bit more mana, in case something happens, but I don't know. It's just personal preference. Yeah, but do you really need mana if you already have your tier at 3 minutes? Yes, but Hyakarim like uses so much mana that I don't know. I like have PTSD because of season 11 basically, because you never bought tier back then. And okay. you had like insane money issues. So what should I do now? Just do crab. Okay, Evelyn is topside. Do crab, but try to kite it towards mid lane, because mid lane is the only place where a play can happen. Because nothing will play bo happen bot lane because they're pushing back into you. Okay, okay so you get the Q stacks. Uh, I think you can just run to your raptors. You can maybe even look for a mid gang. You should wait his pull. Nice. Oh my god. 
Yeah, if my, e didn't, if my e didn't expire there, I could have actually looked for it. It's fine. Just ping Z because I think he should have like followed your play. Alright. He's kind of AFK. So uh, do I just do Raptors and Krugs now? Yeah, yeah. Just do Raptors, Krugs, and then you can look for a reset because you should maybe have enough money for Ionians. You can maybe even look for top lane. Like, try to get Q stacks off of Krugs and then just run to top lane. You don't need to finish them. Or you can, yeah. Looks like he's uh, reset. Aralia isn't freezing, so... He might stay top, just like hover around. He might try to kill Aralia from the bush. Nice, keep the Q stacks. Yeah, this is a free kill. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Do I take her wave? Yes. Take the next wave. one too? Yes. Okay. She doesn't deserve it. She didn't do anything. She almost got solo killed. She was like 1 HP. I even ping her off. Yeah, yeah. Just take everything. You're the only player in the game. No one else matters. So she's NPC, right? Yeah. It's chat GPT, I'm telling you. Like, okay. when you queue up for League, Riot ran out of players to play with. So now you're only playing with bots. But they, like, mask them so well because technology evolved too good. Yeah, you buy Ionians and the Longsword. Okay. I think this game, you should go straight to Dirk. All right. What do I do now? Okay. Uh, you can maybe start Gromp and look for a bot king because they need to shove the wave in. Because your mid laner just died, nothing can happen mid lane. And if you go to take that wave, it's not as good because they nerfed like minion XP for junglers. Because way too many PDFs played Elise. Really? PDFs? Play Elise? Yeah, I think so. Okay. But I don't know, they like play ADC as well in Jax, so... I don't know. Oh yeah, I name make... one ADC PDF. I have him in a friend list, actually, I can show you after the game. <laughs> Wait, why are you friends with the PDF? Mm, it's not my fault, I was forced it. Wait, what do you mean you're forced? Let's say he knows where I live. Oh. Wait, how old are you? I'm above the legal age of consent, but, you know, I still don't like those people. So, why so did you want to be careful, your friend? Though. If you're above the age. Because we won like a game together. Ah. So we became best friends after that. Also you're doing fine, you should just clear. You can maybe even like back and then look for Herald. Because I think getting first Herald is always better than getting first Drake. Because you won. only want gold to snowball. And Herald gives you like 300 gold. Plus if you get like a good gank you can take an entire Yeah, time. but what if the game goes later and then you need to play for soul win condition? Then it's your fault because you didn't play the game. Because you oh. got fed enough from Harold. Okay, gotcha. I think I would recall here because you're kind of out of mana. And then you can go for Harold because you have All like right, a what do I buy? Uh, it's rated Dirk and two long swords. Okay. But I can, can only afford for one. Second. You can wait for the one. You can wait for the oh, other one. Okay, okay. And I do Harold, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just run to it. Yeah. Is it not better for me to it. just go for a bot gank with ult and get a double kill here? Uh, it might be good, but I don't know. Evelyn is also a disgusting champion, so I don't know. If it was a challenger game, I probably wouldn't go for it because every challenger Evelyn is like omnip omnipresent on the map. Okay, and you so. never know where she is. Okay, mid lane. Solo killing Elite 500. Do you know Elite 500? Who's that? I don't know, oh, I don't really watch like YouTube and stuff like that too 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 much. Oh. He's like some cute streamer, I don't know. I played some games with him and I kinda hated him, but it was like I don't know. What do I do now? I feel bad. Uh you should maybe dive top. Check the HP of Azir. Okay, he's low HP, you can dive him with Iralia. You're running out of Q stacks, maybe check for Gromp. If if Gromp is there. Okay. I think you just dive him. Yeah, just try to push him into Iralia. Okay, she's not playing the game. Pink okay. her. Take the wave, take the wave. wave. Yeah, yes, yeah. take the wave, take the wave. Yeah, take her. And then pink her. So you like rub the wound. I think Should I take blue? Go. Okay, yeah, yeah, take blue and you can take crab maybe then. I think Vlad oh, might be roaming Gromp out you can take as well. You can take Gromp and actually do the even more pedestrate and re-dive the top laner that's coming back to lane. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I don't play at least. You're playing something like that's slightly worse than Elise, so I don't know. Okay. So should I just leave Gromp alive for Q-Saxon? 
Yeah, yeah, just leave it alive. Azir should be coming soon. Yeah, you can try to finish it now. And ping Aralia because she has like two brain cells. Okay, now. I think you just kill him alone. Nice. Nice. Ult. Okay, it's worth. You should have ulted maybe way sooner. Okay. But it's still fine. Because I mean, I wasn't... A lot of the thing is, I wasn't expecting the Avalon to be there. So what do I buy now? Eclipse, Eclipse. Actually, yeah, you buy Eclipse because you don't have as much Q stacks. I mean, not Q stacks. Uh, mana, mana immune stacks. T yeah. stacks. But didn't you say, because... like, maybe I go Jackthar this game? Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't like it. Wait, can I go Prowler's Claw? You can, actually. Baus said it's an OP item. Maybe you should try it. Really? Okay. Yeah, but I think Eclipse is, like, the best. Okay. No, you can maybe, like, invent some other build. Baus said Prowler's Claw is, like, the best item in the game, so we should just listen to him. Really? Yeah, I think he's, like, the best top laner in EU. Even though he's, like, Masters playing his AP Iralia, griefing every Hylo game. I mean, not Hylo, but, like, Masters game. I think yeah. he's, like, the best build. What if he starts playing Prowler's Claw Iralia top? I wouldn't do that if I were him. For my safety reasons. <laughs> But I mean, AP is just as grief, so I don't know. Wait, what should I do now? Uh, just keep clearing, yeah. You can maybe even take the mid wave. Should uh, I take the you next should, wave too? You, you, can, you can look for Drake, actually. Take the next wave. Yeah, take the wave, take the wave. Okay. Alright. You can take Raptors and then take the wave and just uh, Herald mid. Because I think getting mid tower is way better. Vladimir just reset so you guys can hit the tower together and it's better to get mid tower. Because right. it opens up the map more. You can maybe even look for a top dive after with Z. Top dive or dragon? Uh, honestly, up to you, but I think. I don't know, just go Drake, I guess. Check bot lane. You, you don't know their HP. Okay, they're kinda low. I think it's better to go Drake. Because right. then you can look for a dive even. You can maybe dive bot actually. If I just, yeah, dive bot yeah, and yeah. then drag after? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You definitely play that. Oh, I have an idea. Oh my god. Holy that combo. <laughs> okay, was that worth it or did I just like grief the game? It's fine. Okay. When you kill the enemy team, you like discourage them from playing the game. But when you die and if you have good mental, you like. You just like. You know. Yeah, it's like. The mental will prevail. You counter grief. Yeah. Hmm. Your team is kinda underperforming. You still have like the most kills, you're doing perfect, but I don't know. It's okay. They're just griefing. Maybe we can summon. Yeah, you could have bought a longsword, but it's fine. Wait, where should I go you now? Uh, just finish man immune. For like the maximum damage. Okay, but what, what, not what, do do? what do I do? What do I do? Uh, just maybe look for top lane. After cracks, yeah. Keep Q stacks. Get more. Nice. Get one more just in case. I think he's gone though. I think you can just go back to farming. Actually? Yeah, you don't have ult. You can't really. Okay, maybe you know something that I don't. Or maybe you do not. No, no, no. I don't know. You're... Ping your Aralia's ult. Yeah, just go. Just send it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> this is nice. You get this. Wait, it's Prowler's called the new meta. It could. Dude, it actually was crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. Like, when, when is enemy team gonna expect, like, a hacker in Prowler's going on team? Exactly. It's like you have the the element of surprise. I think just go from Krugs to bot side. Because all of your camps will spawn in succe succession. Yep. You're close to man immune, so after finishing your clear, I don't think it's worth going to Drake unless you, like, kill all of them. I think it's better to just recall and get your items back. And then you can just bomb in at the game. Because oh, man immune is, like, your biggest spike. It makes you one shot. Really? Yeah. It stacks up with like your entire combo. Okay, so should I just go for like a one shot on someone then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can maybe even like, since you're not doing the pussy shit, you can maybe even go Cyril does next or something like for maximum damage. We don't go any tank items. Okay, boy, where do, where do I go now? Just clear the camps, get some Q stacks and see what you can do from them. Because you always want to have your Q stacks up before you gank. Alright. Like, almost always, unless they're like 1 HP. But yeah, you can like, do Gromp, and then Drake, and then maybe dive. But your bot lane is winning 2v2, so you're fine. 
You can just Drake after this. Like playing for dragons in lower elos is not as good because if you're good enough, you can just get so much ahead that you can end games by yourself. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I'm not playing in low elo though. I'm playing in like diamond. I don't know. I think anything above top 300 is low elo in my mind. That smite yeah. was kind of late. I think you just kill this. Okay, just get out maybe. Wait, what? What is that Prowler's Claw combo? <laughs> Do you know Baifeng? Yeah. The Chinese? You're like him, but on like a more brain dead champ. He the plays Baifeng? Prowler's Claw Hagram combo. Yes. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, there's a Jin here! <laughs> yeah. Just kill him. Okay, not too shabby. And you get them as well. Nice. I think the game is won here. Your team just stomps it. Okay, what do I do now? I don't know, you just take the entire jungle. Because Evelyn is dead, I don't think she cleared anything. You can check her top side as well and then go into Herald. You just want to like farm at this, this point. You don't want to like flip plays because you have like a huge shutdown. Okay. There is nothing happening. Enemy team can't walk up. They're afraid of you. So I just take this now? Yeah, yeah, just take that and maybe just recall. Because you will have like the empowered recall. You save like four seconds. Okay. Wait, your CS per minute is kind of insane. Wait, I think I'm just not, recall. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just send it. Okay, but why didn't you? Okay, prowlers. Wait, what? You can prowlers during your ult? I didn't know that. I guess you can. I didn't know that either. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I learn a thing or two every day. <laughs> what should I go next item? I think just go Cyril does for the maximum damage. I don't know. Cyril does? I don't know what's like the best damage item right now. You can even go Shoujin, but that's kind of boring because it gives you HP. You need to go like maximum damage. Yomus hey. maybe. You can Yomus? maybe go Yomus. Yeah, yeah, Yomus. That's also decent. Oh my god, I just remembered. Wait. You can E with rapid fire and you do like... You <laughs> E on them from Mars to Earth, you know? <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm gonna try something crazy here. You have prowlers in 10 seconds. I think just disregard everything and just walk down mid lane and kill your nearest target. If you die for it, it might be worth. Okay. Descend it. Force. It's fine, you got this. Just go in, just go in. Just go in. Okay. Wait. Not too shabby. I think just place Herald. Wait. Okay, no. Just run away. Now nah, you kill them. Go back in. Go back in to give them, a, like, prove them a point. Wait, hold on. Oh, I thought you'd be closer. You could have, like, proved a point to them. Even if you die, like, you die in front of them with 1 HP. Or wait, you turn this. No way. <laughs> Hold on, I can get the red too. You can maybe kill Vlad as well, what happened? I think Zed ulted him. Oh my god, you killed him as well. Maybe he has pool, but you just go in. And you pray. Wait, what? <gasps> oh. oh my... Oh my... It's fine. You might have cancer, but I think it's fine. <laughs> okay, do I need to get an infinity edge next item? Uh, you can. I think it got changed. It, it's like 40% crit now, right? Can you hover the item? Yes. Yeah. Actually, it might be the play. It's like the full damage hacker in build. Also, I think the Vlad, like, when you dove him, didn't expect your rapid fire and you used E on him from, like, insane distance. Yeah. He didn't W your E. Yeah, I don't think I was expecting it. I think it might be, like, a new good build against Vlad. It, like, counters him. But maybe the Korean guy knows more. Who knows how much Divine Sunderer would do? Oh yeah, Divine Sunderer is so OP. Yeah. Divine Sunderer Conquer? My god. Yeah. You can definitely move into Ash. Okay. You just kill all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the new OP build, I, I'm telling you. You invented something <laughs> new, I think. Enemy team has 10 squishies, you just one-shot all of them. With Q-stacks, of course. Yep. <laughs> yeah, flash. Type get the exclamation mark XD to Azir. Hold on. Wait. Turn it. No. Why is he running away? Yeah. You need to like type Azir. Because like you need to call him out. Maybe he types something back. Okay. 
That's like winning a mental battle. You got this. You got this for sure. Yeah, I believe in you. Yep. It's fine. Okay. The good news is I got a BF sword. Yeah, you need to stall the game out for like 400 more gold. And then you can like make a pentakill. Okay. The infinity edge. And maybe then end it. So I need to do like... But, I need to do full But you need to shot? make a penta. Yeah, you need like a montage playing. Okay. If you're like new to YouTube or something. You can maybe even send it to like Synapse. Really? You know that guy? I've watched like one or two of his videos before. Mm hmm He makes like montages. But, okay, enemy team still has no armor, except the Jin who went tabbies. Okay, so what should I do now? Just get enough gold for infinity edge, you recall. And okay. yeah. Yeah, ignore Drake. That shit doesn't matter. The game is won, you just want to make a montage play. Okay. I think you have enough gold. Yeah, you do. Okay. So now I get infinity edge and we just won the game, right? Yeah. You can like start Baron maybe, get enough Q stacks, if the enemy team runs into you, you kill all of them. That's like the best way to end games. Okay. But I don't know, for some reason people don't know about it. It's too complicated. Your team is AFK though, maybe you should ping them to move. Maybe you can solo it, who knows. I have an okay. idea. Yeah, just running. Yeah, you saw the... I think he ulted out. Holy! Nah. No way he tends like this. Nah, she's dead. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. Okay, Ron. Can just, like, you can maybe go like even further. You can push the limits. Push the buttons. Oh my... Your team's AFK. Like, Bro, what is if I, I could have... Look... If I could have pressed WQ auto, I literally one-shot him and I regen half my HP. Yeah. I think Yakarin W is like low-key the most OP ability in the game. Really? Yeah, because it enables you to go assassin, even though like you shouldn't be played as assassin, if that makes sense. Because okay. it gives you like healing, armor, everything. It makes you able to go squishy. Wait, what? Do you know Irel King? Yeah. The Korean, uh, maybe ask him, maybe it's him. He means the Kodri so? King. Yes. Oh, yeah. look at Senna. Just go in, just go in. Maybe you can, if you die, it's good, because look at what Senna typed. What? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. He like loses lane, and then he's like, can you stop for me, please? He like cares for LP too much. This is the Chinese combo. No way. You, you didn't crit once, but it's fine. <laughs> Riot decided it's not your day. Yeah. They just wanted to fuck me over. Yeah. They don't like you. It's fine. The next one is a crit. Okay. Now you kill. Riot! I didn't crit again! Yes, I don't know! Bro, this crit build sucks. I don't know, I'm tilted as well. You need to end the game. Like, Senna might be right. He might be a pussy, but he's actually right, so I don't know. Okay. Maybe we should give him the win. It's like a gifting to the poor. Wait. Charity work. Our Varus just got one shot. Yeah. Vladimir is kind of full build, but it's fine. I think if you die now, the game can be actually lost. So know. you should play for Baron. Hmm. Okay, does send it. He has W. It's fine, G. I don't know. Uh oh. Is that Cookie Lol or Nash? Did he like make a Smurf account? Oh my God. I think that... He... Bro, this game is looking rough. I don't know. See, that's why we should have played for dragons. But, like, if you were good enough, you would just end the game. Okay, but... Like, just it... end, bro. Is it a me problem, or is it my build problem? No, it's a you problem, because you oh. didn't go barren. You entered way too much. Okay. But now it might be too late. I think just send it. Ping your team, like, assistance, and then send it. Uh -oh. oh well, oh, oh well. Okay. Oh. There is an angle. There is an angle. You don't know where Evelyn is, but you can maybe just dive in. Okay, go in. You see Evelyn? Chinese? No. I don't know, their champs are just too OP, I think. 
I think in season, like last season, when they were, you, did you watch the world finals maybe? No. Oh. Okay, there was some guy, I forgot his name, but he played Varus and he like stole every Baron. And I think this guy might be him. Really? Yeah. Aiki. It honestly could be. Yeah. Like, look at him, he's like insane. Look at him! Okay, wait, wait, hold on. I need to save the game here. Yeah. It's the final battle. Should I sell all my items and go like a real build or no? No, I think you're just committed. There is no reason to switch items. Okay. Your build looks pretty fine right now. Into full AP, Vladimir, with full build, I think it looks fine. Yep. You said you barely played the game, so you don't care about LP that much. You want your team to lose. <laughs> Wait, do I really? I don't know, do you? I think Wait, you watch do. Us, watch us. You sound like that guy. Okay. Not bad. Maybe if someone else moves to you because Vlad is mid, you can one shot them. I think you can fight mid. Ash is dead. Your team is fighting. Okay. This is the team fight. This is the one that ends it all. One crit. Okay. Prowlers. You miss Q. Okay. Just go in. Just go in. It's fine. This is it. GG. Wait, he's not. Oh my! Wait, Dude, maybe he's this. He's not taking damage. Maybe this build was actually the angle all along. Yeah. I told you, man. This is the new build. So, should I do it's this so every game then? I think so, yeah. Okay. I think I might start using it. Really? Yeah. I think it can work. Yep. We'll hit Masters at the same time. If we both start yeah. doing this build. And then we can snipe each other and win trade like the NA people. Yeah, exactly. Alright, yeah. well, um, nice. thank you for the coaching. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, is there anything you think I should work on, by the way? Like, what would you say? Uh, not really. I think you did perfect. Maybe you, like, missed some cues. You played, like, kind of bad mechanically, but you were fine. Maybe you could go the normal build and just win the game at, like, 15 minutes. But yeah. I don't know. You kind of played for fun, you know? Yeah. All right. Well, I All appreciate right. it. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, yeah. see you around later. All right. See. You. Well, YouTube. So that's uh, getting coached by the best hacker me you. Well, now that I'm sure second best hacker me you. But honestly, it wasn't bad. He had a few calls that I went to personally made, but I thought were good, like the Rift Herald mid call. But yeah, I mean, if we would have done a different build, the game would have been over in 15. But at least we still got the win. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like sub if you haven't now already and you can check the description if you guys are also interested in checking out the tap in coaching as well but with that being said guys have a great rest of the night and i will see you all for the next video peace